Yeah, we'll take the right to work in just a few here. Give our morning shout out to friends listening while on the job, and you get a special shout out this morning from Mr. Marlon Wayne. Shout out from Marlon Wayne. What's up? <laughs> well, you guys don't have you do? normally in, in like L.A. or New York. There's like 90 people in the booth of a radio station. You're like a solo act. You are an engineer. You uh, you make your own sound effects. You know, Marlon Wayne. Woo! Well, you're in Iowa now, man. Everybody's out tending fields. And this reminds me of the episode of I Love Lucy where the sheriff was like, he was the bellman at the... <laughs> <laughs> he was also the deputy. He he was everything in the town. This is a small town. Well, and you've seen America growing up East Coast. Now you live out in L.A. So yeah, I'm from New York. Everywhere man, in between. Man. Yeah, you guys know. I know your traffic jams like three people. We'll take that. We'll yeah. take that. I like it. It's calm. I, I feel like... Um, I have no worries, no stress. That's no, good. Is it stressful in LA? So I walk outside and I feel that cold and I go, well, you don't like it, that. It was that stress. Oh, come on. This is this is like 25 degrees right now. It's a November heat wave. You sound crazy. <laughs> go tell that brother in that room that it's only 25 degrees. You don't put only in 25 degrees. It's not even windy right now. It's it's calm winds. It's 25. It's, it's, it's cold from. It's, it's cold. Just a little bit, little snow in the cracks. My blood is all the way in my foot right now. If you guys could see Marlon Wayans, you would think he put on weight because I think you have eight coats on. I right do. Now. I do. It, it's working for me. <laughs> Keep me. Let's right. let's ask you. Two shows tonight. Yes, sir. Q Casino and the Q Showroom, our favorite place to go watch stand up comedy. Marlon Wayans, six o'clock and eight o'clock. You know, this is early too. This is the rock station. So usually when I do interviews. I can't get these guys to call in before you know, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and they're still yawning. So it that's it good. took me every drop of coffee I could find to be upright. I am dead right now. You that's were talking the, to a corpse. That's, that's how the Netflix. Uh, <laughs> that's how the Netflix special wokeish. Yeah, you're not quite, not quite. Awake not yet. all the way up. I'm woke, wokeish. Well, you've been busy. I mean, since we, you know, most of us here, like the first time we saw you, way back before the internet. Yeah, really ba- way ba- I was way before that. I was in I'm Gonna Get You Suck. I would play the pedestrian. I was the, in the part of the movie where a fly guy was walking down the street. He just got out of prison. And me and my brother was teasing him about his shoes. And that was the first time I was ever on screen. So that that was where you first went coast to coast then? Yes. What else is going on? You got six I got tuplets. a movie just called Sex Tuplets. I just finished. It's I play uh, six people uh, about a guy who goes on a journey to find his birth family because he's adopted and he's having a baby. So he goes on a journey to find his uh, si- his mom and he finds out he has six different siblings and I play all six. Oh, do you? Yeah. I read the I read a little bit about it. I didn't read that you played all the characters. All the ah. characters, and I'll tell you this much: two of them are heavy. Uh, I'm I'm retiring from heavy people. I'm a place kid because <laughs> that fifty pounds of makeup is not fun. Well, when it comes to the show tonight, I mean, do you find yourself, as you get older, you have your own kids, they're growing now? I oh, I find myself definitely talking about my children. Does the show change? Like, if we're, you know, I, I always like to relate to comedians. When I was young and I, I saw a comedian complaining about his family stuff, it didn't make as much sense to me. Now that I have kids, that's what I want to hear about. That's all you want to hear is, come on, tell me, tell me about them damn teenagers. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I, 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 it's funny because my kids now are grown. And they're like, not grown, but my son is like about to turn 17. My daughter's 18, uh, going to college. So I get to look at these 18 years of their life and just make fun of it all in hindsight. So everything stupid they do, I do on stage. So I'm just waiting for them to do some more stupid stuff so I can embarrass them further. What do they think? Are they cool? It actually works. They behave because they know I will talk about them. So (laughs) they behave. My daughter's 18, has not had a drink yet. And if she did, she's lying very well. Good. good, Because she knows. Part of me is like, hey, come on, have a drink. Just so I can make fun of you. Do you tour these shows all over the country? The Um, the stand-up show? Yeah, uh, this is my first time back on stage since doing a movie. I, I've, oh, really? I, I've done the movie for three and a half months, so now first time back on stage right here in Iowa. You guys are re, uh, re something my something. We'll do it. Yeah, I like to read. I like to watch interviews with comedians. They talk about how brutal the crowds are. Like to cut your teeth in the stand-up comedy business is one of the toughest jobs out there. Cause it really is not. It's, I, I think it's all about how much you love your job. I love my job. People are like a tidal wave. They're like a wave, right? And I'm a surfer. That's what a crowd is. You just can't let the wave take you over. I, you know, you just got to know when to get up and know when to sit your behind down. But at, for the most part, people are there for a purpose. They want to laugh. 
So go out there and just uh, be humble, have fun, and uh, be respectful. You can get your tickets right at the showroom box office. You can go online. I'll link all that up on the Rock Facebook page. And Again, if that don't work, pick the funniest person in the crowd and just make fun of them. <laughs> that, I was going to say, I mean, now Rock here, we get compliments all the time at Iowa that we're so polite. Yes, you are. Is that true? I mean, you get up on stage, though, and you get a heckler. We still don't have hecklers, I'm no, sure. No, you guys don't have... I've never been heckled in Iowa. I'd be horrified to try. I wouldn't... <laughs> Heckling, heckling in Iowa don't happen. No. <laughs> heckling in Atlanta all day long. Once again, 6 p.m., 8 p.m. Cool. So when's, when's the movie out? Like summer? This um, summer. This summer comes out, uh, I think, in July. So yeah. uh, we're going to be editing that together. And uh, I'll be on the road working. I want to work on a new special so, for this year. So, you know, I, I, I got intentions. And write another movie and create a new show. What about Marlon? We had two seasons of that on NBC. I don't know if it's coming back, man. Uh, everybody keeps asking me, what about Marlon? I'm like, y'all got to ask NBC. But uh, in, my, in my my head, in my heart, you know, I, I don't sit around waiting. Um, I got a couple of the shows on want to create, so I'm, I'm in the lab. Oh, yeah, Google Marlon. He's busy. I, I stay working because Marlon got a lot of family members, and at some point, somebody's going to ask you for a loan. Uh-huh. That's the, and uh, the worst thing in the world is be like, sorry, Ma, you on your own. Ma, come on, Ma. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, Pop, then, you still owe me a G. I ain't giving you nothing. <laughs> how often do you get that call text? How do they start those texts out? You know, it's they funny. Say, like, hey, how you doing? I think a good son never waits for his parents to ask him for money. Uh-huh. I think a good son goes, hey, Ma, you need something? Here. Here, Pop. And that's for you. I, I never want them asking me for money. I just want to take care of them. We'll see. I'm waiting for that day to come, too. Mine are close to yours, 18 and 15, so. Yeah. Oh, no. The, ki- out, no, the kids, out, right? I want them to, I want the humility of them asking me for money. <laughs> I'm talking about my parents. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah, the kids, no, no, y'all got to beg. I want, I want to see you grovel. <laughs> What, what, what's the point? Why not? Why have them if you can't have a little grovel? That's the them? power of money, watching you grovel. All right, so dude. one time my daughter will give me a hug. Come on, give me a hug. In public? Anywhere. And- she wouldn't <laughs> hug me in private. I'm like, what did I do? There goes the long black guy, number two. Look at him. He exists. Ed Anderson. Yeah, I thought I was lying. And y'all know his name. You know Ed Anderson? The black guy! Ed Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be a Dubuque for many years, too. Dubuque? Oh, yeah. yeah. We won't let him in, though. We'll, we'll make, Thank we'll God. We'll make him stand outside. He, he makes it weird. He's got to read news in a bit. Anyway. I want to be the only brother in this news station. Well, this has been a treat, man. Thank Marla you, brother. Williams. Uh, Good time. Very, very fun to meet you. And can't wait to see the show tonight. Shows, one or two. You can see them both if you want. 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. in the Q showroom down at the Q Casino. I'll link all this up on the Rock Facebook page. Go get a nap. We'll see you tonight, Marlon. Yes, sir. Thank you. 736 at 97.3.